What's up YouTube, it's your boy Aaron out here with another new pickups video. I have a package right here from KM20, which is a store out of Moscow in Russia. But before I get into this pickup man, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video, I want to get at least 70,000 thumbs ups, so click that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to join the notification gang. And also follow my Instagrams, which is at Aaron M. Monaghan and at Skirt Closet. Skirt Closet's my resale account, at Aaron M. Monaghan is my personal account. But without further ado, let's just get into this package right here. I got this package from a store called KM20 in Moscow. It's a really nice store. They have a whole bunch of really nice pieces. Some brands are pretty much just exclusive to KM20. I got two pieces which you can't really buy anywhere else. And these two pieces are some things that I really wanted. One I only just found out about not too long ago and the other is a piece I've had my eye on for a minute. But I didn't want to go and just buy that one piece from KM20 because they do charge a whole lot of money for shipping. This little package right here cost me $80 to ship from Moscow to Australia. But regardless, it's finally here. All the information is in Russian so that's kind of cool. But without further ado, let's just open this up right now. Damn, I am legit so excited to see what these pieces are because I've never purchased from KM20 before. I don't know what their shipping is like. I don't know anything about the brand other than they're based in Moscow. So let me just try to figure out how to open this. It's like just this huge like silver like package and I can't see where you can open it. Oh, I found it. They use silver tape to like cover it up so that's why I was having trouble finding out where to open it but regardless I am finally able to open this package and get into these two pieces I am so excited to get these pieces out and show you guys hopefully they both fit me because the sizing on both of these things that I purchased is a little weird and I'll get into that as I go into each piece but regardless let's get into the first piece right here I think they're both actually in this one bag, so let me just see if there's anything else in here. Nope, so everything comes in this KM20 bag, and their bags are actually hella cool. As you can see on this bag, it just says KM20 all over it, then here it says some stuff in Russian, which is super, super cool. I think it's just like their information, like where they are, their opening times, their phone number, stuff like that. I don't know, I can't really read it, but regardless, it's a cool as fuck bag. And taking the bag out, I actually have a little personalized KM20 note. It has KM20 all over the front right here. There's some Russian writing throughout it. And then right here it actually says, thank you for buying from our store, Aaron. And it's actually handwritten, which is actually super, super nice. This is absolutely the best packaging I've ever had for like anything. I've never actually gotten like a handwritten note from a company before, which is absolutely sick in my opinion. I really appreciate that. I don't really know what it says at the top and the bottom in Russian, but the middle part's in handwriting and it's in English. So I'm really appreciative of that. That's something that I personally do whenever I sell stuff from Skirt Closet. I always write someone a little note and I don't know, I just appreciate that. But regardless, let's get into these two pieces. I'm going to start off with this first piece right here, that's the piece that I have on top. And this piece is actually from a brand called Walk of Shame, it is out of Moscow. It's been a brand which I've been looking into for a while, it's definitely one of my favourite brands at the moment. However, there's only one problem with Walk of Shame Moscow, is that it is a women's wear brand, so unfortunately, I'm not too sure how the sizing on this piece will go. But it is a women's brand, so hopefully it still does fit quite oversized. I got the largest size that was on the website, which was a large, I believe. But it's definitely a really nice brand out of Moscow. Right here, you can see, is just this plain tee. It's got this interesting kind of neckline, which is like really tight here, but it goes wide. I don't know, I think it looks kind of nice. It has like oversized sleeves. And overall, this piece is meant to be quite oversized. Hopefully this does fit me quite nicely, because as I said, this is a women's wear brand. I got the larger size available, so I'm praying to God it does fit nicely. If not, I will be selling this piece. The tag on the neckline right here just says Walk of Shame. It feels like it's a quite nice quality piece. And then just on the front, it has this little graphic right here. It has this little graphic here of like pyramids and it says Egypt, then Walk of Shame. I think this is like, because I've done a bunch of like touristy kind of tees. I've got one like this and then I've got a brown one. It says Thailand. But regardless, I really, really like this blue tee. I really like it. I'm gonna put it in a coat hanger and just hang it up real quick. So anyway, guys, that is my t-shirt from Walk of Shame. It is a super nice tee. The screen printing feels like it's a high quality. This is a pretty high quality tee. I'll show you a quick on body look of this one as well.
And there you go, there is my walk of shame, Egypt tea. Hopefully this does fit nicely. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm hoping, I'm praying that this does fit really, really nicely because it's something I definitely want in my personal collection for the summer. It's just a really nice, fun, bright tea. And I want to get into that kind of style for the summer. Let's get into the next tea, which is actually by a brand from Russia that we all know and we all love, which is Gosha Rubinchinsky. Gosha did a collaboration with KM20 and this is the KM20 and Gosha collab tea. I got this in the size extra large because Gosha sizing is always really weird. The older Gosha was really, really small and the newer Gosha fits pretty much true to size. However, when I went to purchase this piece, the extra large was selling out. I think it said I had one or two left, so I just figured that this would probably run a little bit small if the extra large is actually selling out before any of the other sizes. So I purchased the size extra large. If this is a little bit too big for me, I don't really care. I'm probably just gonna wear it as an oversized tee once again. It's just a nice, fun, bright tee for the summer. Once again, it is a super nice tee. You've got your typical Gosha Rubczynski tag. Gosha Rubczynski just on the tag in there as well, size extra large. It's just a plain red tee. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sleeves. And you can see this little screen printing right here on the breast. And it just says Rust Vets KM20, which is something I really like because it's got the Rust Vets in the um, Thrasher kind of design, which is one of the OG kind of like Gosha designs. I've got another tee with the exact same design, but it goes like across here. And it's a tee which I've never really worn, but this tee is definitely a lot more wearable. It's something I can wear with like an all black fit or like even jeans or anything. It's just a tee which I feel like I'm going to wear a lot over the summer because it is a nice, fun, red, bright tee. I'm going to put this in a coat hanger so I can explain it without having to like hold it up properly. But this tee is just a super, super sick tee. Plain red, rust vet right there with KM20 just below it because this is in collaboration with KM20. I'm glad Gosh Rupczynski did do a collaboration with KM20 because I really wanted that Egypt tee. But considering this t-shirt is only available at KM20 and a few other retailers online, but all those other retailers are purely just in Russian and I cannot read it. There wouldn't have been any way I could have purchased this t-shirt because I was not going to pay like $80 shipping just for this one tee. So with this collaboration, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get this tee. I'm going to get that tee which I've wanted for a while as well. But this is a super nice tee, size extra large. It does look like it will fit quite nicely on me. I feel like this will fit oversized, which is really, really nice. I'm going to show you a quick on-body look at this one as well. And anyway guys, that is the Gosh Lubczynski and KM20 Rust Vet Thrasher Tee. It's a really nice tee. Both of these pickups are absolutely sick. And I think I have said this before, but I did ship with DHL. I actually made the order for these like probably three or four days ago now, and they're already in hand. So the shipping and everything is really, really fast with KM20. If you can justify spending like $80 on shipping, I definitely recommend shopping there. But if not, which I don't blame you because the shipping is ridiculously expensive. It's just a nice store nonetheless. I'm really glad with the packaging. I'm really glad with the pieces that I picked up. And overall, I'm just like super stoked on these two pieces. Man, I can't wait to be wearing these throughout the summer because they look so sick. And anyway guys, that is about all I have to say. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Thumbs up the video. I said all this stuff at the start. Follow my Instagrams as well because I want those followers on the gram, you know. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know what piece is your favourite piece and if you've ever purchased anything from Came 20 and what your experience was like. For me, the experience was actually really, really good. I would definitely be buying from them again if I wanted to buy anything from brands such as Walk of Shame, which are pretty much exclusive to like KM20. Or if I just want to buy some stuff which is pretty hyped and sold out everywhere else because they do have a lot of items in stock that are hyped, even though they're sold out on other websites. Because the shipping from KM20 is so expensive, I think it just sits on that site for a little bit longer. But these pieces are absolutely sick. I paid a fair amount of money for them as well. I think both of these t-shirts came to about $300, but if you add on top the shipping, was about $380, which is absolutely ridiculous, but I'm glad I got this exclusive tee because I think it's sold out everywhere now. And I'm super glad that I got a Walk of Shame piece finally because it is absolutely one of my favorite brands, even though it is a women's wear brand. I don't really believe that just because it's a women's wear brand, men can't wear it, or just because it's a men's wear brand, females can't wear it. I think it's all about wearing what you like to wear and styling pieces in a way that suits your personal style. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.